all right YouTube today I got a pretty cool video for y'all um this is the post office yeah it doesn't look pretty I didn't decorate it too much uh, I just left it open um this is just a prototype it uh, actually no it, 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 I think it's pretty much complete but I built a prototype about five years ago I'm not lying uh, it was on the Xbox version but I switched to PC um and every update sometimes redstone would change so every there's little designs here and there. Well, let me stop talking. Let me just show you how it works. Okay, so that we have four houses here, and this is gonna take forever. This ain't. I'm not gonna send it to every single house because then it'll just take forever. But each house has a chest known as like a mailbox, I guess you could say. Uh, don't mind that. That's all my testing uh, stuff. That that's how many prototypes I went through uh, yesterday. So anyway, that first that first chest that you saw had nothing in it. Um, so how this works is this would be the first house and the, the second click would be the second, third click would be the fourth. I don't want to spoil the red zone. I don't want to show the red zone yet. I'm going to show you after I show you how it works. So anyway, this would be the first house. There's the second, third, and fourth. So they, I didn't label them uh, because I know what they mean. So this would be the first house. So we'll select that. And let's just put, uh, just so it doesn't take as long, let's put 16. So we're going to select the first house, send it and it's going to go off to the first house now while that's doing that I'm going to explain something you cannot have two selected at the same time if you have two the one clo the one that uh, the one to the left is going to work is it's going to go to the one to the left first because the way it's set up it's a whole bunch of railroads divided and if you do that it won't work see that didn't take too long uh, then again the house is right over there um, so yeah let's go check out the house real quick and we have 16 so it worked oh and I threw it out okay so now since I showed you that it worked actually now let me show you something else uh, if you have nothing selected there's a little safety to, uh, feature that I included into it it's gonna come back and it's gonna have the same stuff in it so like if I put six oh my gosh why do I keep doing that so if I put 32 whatever in there send it and I don't select anything it's going to come back with the same amount. So, bam. There it is. Now, say I have a whole bunch of stuff selected. Actually, no. Uh, I'm going to just do this to show you all something. I have a reset system built in on this. So, I'm going to make sure there's nothing in the other way. It comes right back. So, uh, it's going to travel to the first house because that's the uh, where the railroad splits first. Once it splits, it goes directly to the house. So, it's not going to go to all, all the houses. So, now... When it comes back, there's a reset system. Here. And as you saw, they all reset it. So that keeps confusion out of the way for people. Like, if I have this one selected, this one selected, uh, someone's going to walk into the post office, but, oh, I'm going to send it to here, not even pay attention that these two are still on, and it's going to go to the wrong house. So we had to have a little reset system in there. Um, so, yeah, let me go ahead and get rid of all these bricks and show you all the redstone. I'll be right back. Okay. So. Here's the uh, the front when it's cleared out. Uh, so yeah, we got quite a bit going on here. Now this is the reset system. Uh, so whenever you select it, uh, that block sticks out, and w this goes back to the switch. So what that does is, uh, when the rail comes, when the uh, the car comes back, there's a detect rail it comes all the way back, and this is basically like hitting the button. So once that repeater is activated it's like hitting the button and obviously it can't re do that now this timer right here is so that it doesn't reset while the cart is leaving um, so that timer is really important right there um, so and here's everything else uh, not really hard to build it, it it's I, I made it modular so what I'm saying is this is one section copy and paste it this is another section let me fix the time because I know some people really hate when the time is not right so this section you just copy paste it copy and paste and as you see uh, it kind of staggers as it goes right straight left straight and then right it just staggers so it stays like 13 blocks but now it goes on that direction as long as you want it to go um, so let's go ahead and follow one cart so I'm gonna select one and I'll show you a, a smaller model of all of this so what this cart's gonna do 
Or here, let me show you the, uh, the, the tracks turning. As you see, the tracks are turning. Now, uh, yeah, the tracks turning. But now, sometimes the red, the tracks got in the way, so I had to put a torch, and then it just went across. So that was a little something I had to do. This is like years of just prototypes. Uh, I still don't think it's that good, but it, I think it's good enough to finally put on YouTube. So we're gonna select the first house. We're gonna put. I'm gonna put a lot in there actually, cause it's it's gonna need to be there for a while. Maybe this much. Okay. Mm, let me put a little bit more. Uh, I can always take it out. Okay. So we're gonna send it to the first house. That is gonna go. It's gonna go down here. Yep. We're gonna follow it. And here's the other track. See, it's like a little tunnel. It's like an underground tunnel. And then it comes here, and I better hurry up before it gets done. And what this is doing is it's going into this hopper into the chest. This chest is like the backup system. It's going into this hopper and up the item elevator. Now let's go up this item elevator. Now uh, it's shooting into the chest, as you see. So that's how it works. It's pretty cool. Now, to, just to speed things up, let's activate this and take this out. When I take this out, the car's going to take off. As you see, the cart takes off, and I right, follow it, and follow it, follow it, and it's just going to go back. There goes the reset mechanism, and then everything's back to uh, step one. Um, so let's watch that reset mechanism. Uh, so there's a timer. As you, uh, here, let me, uh, crap, I don't know how to, uh, let's, we can try this. I don't know how to show y'all without... Oh, well, they had to reset that time. The cart came back. I guess we'll just have to watch it. <laughs> so, uh, there, the redstone. Uh, as you saw, that piston extended. And then it didn't extend it, which allowed everything else to reset. So, watch one more time. See, that piston extended before the redstone could go through, uh, which allows it, it doesn't reset everything when it's going through. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Now let's go look at some smaller models and I'll explain this step, step by step. Okay, so here's the step by step system. Let me turn that off because I don't know why that was on. So here's the step by step system. Yeah, there's a lot of steps, but they're real easy. Um, so first I had to come up with a switch mechanism that goes straight down. Uh, so I wanted to use a button and I was like, oh, that's not going to stay on. So I had to come up with a switch and uh, what this switch right here does, let me copy this button actually. Um, is well it works the same way I'm just moving the button the way I can show you whenever you hit this button as if you look at that redstone block it's a one tick delay because power comes through this block and into this repeater but this piston extends so it's kinda like it just boom see you just gotta watch it real close it just yeah so that's how that uh, stays on and it's, it's the same thing it's just I move the button okay so um then I was like, okay, that's cool. I was like, but I want to be able to see if it's on or not. So I had to make a light indicator. So that's how I came up with the light indicator. Um, it's the same exact thing, except for you run a redstone wire from whenever it's turned on. It comes through here, and I had to go straight up. So I had to put a torch, and there's another torch right there. Um, so that's how that works. And when it's off, it's off. And I was like, okay, well, I want a reset system. So here's the same thing. It's got uh, it's got the indicator light on it. So this is where it gets a little messy. I had to substitute this for a repair. That way this torch wouldn't uh, do anything. So when I put power right here, it works the same way. So I was like, okay, let's put a torch right underneath it. And then uh, what that torch does, or actually, let me explain this first. So when the light's on, let me turn that light on. As you see, the light's on, uh, and I showed you in the reset system, the piston's extended. So if we go look at the, the piston's extended, right? Um, so now, when that piston's extended, let me get rid of this glass. That was just so I don't trip, just in case. Um, when that piston's extended, whenever you apply power to this block, it's going to activate that redstone which shuts off the circuit so on that redstone there's a torch and then another torch because uh, that's the way it had it to be because um, if I remove this this torch stays on so we had to keep a torch and I lost my torch so let me copy this so uh, yes uh, that's why there's two torches right there and that's how the reset mechanism works is it on or off? okay it's off 
So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I was like, um, well, I kind of want it to reset when it comes back. Um, so I just showed you this. Whenever the cart leaves. Oh, let me show you when the cart leaves. When the cart leaves, there's a delay. But when it comes back, it, uh, it activates the re uh, the redstone. And here's an easier version to see what I just showed you. So let me copy this. I'm not going to put all that. Let's just put like 16. Okay. So we're going to send that off. It's going to stop. Because uh, when this is on, it turns off the torch, which shuts off power to the tracks. And when it gets done, it will turn the uh, tracks back on. And as you see, there's 16 buttons right there. Um, so I did that. I was like, okay, there we go. That's my drop-off mechanism. I was like, uh, but how are we going to cover this up? And I was like, plus I want this underground. So that's where I had to Google or YouTube the item elevator. Um, I got this. I'll leave a link in the description. And also I'll leave a link in the description on how to make this right here. Um, but uh, I had to uh, find a version of an item elevator. Let me make sure there's nothing in there. Okay. I don't think there's anything in there either. Okay. So it's the same thing. It works the same way. We're going to put 60 in there. Send it off. So when it comes, now it's going to go into this chest, like always, but it's going to be taken out of that chest and shoot straight up into the item elevator, which is where your house is at. So uh, there it goes. It's counting. It's counting. And really, that's about how all this works. And it's really easy to build. Um, this is just a showcase. I'm going to show you the tutorial on how I built it in another video. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. And for all you, those people who are really advanced in redstone, if you can take this design and make it more compact, please do it because it's kind of bulky. Um, this is really, uh, it's not too big, but it's pretty big for someone to build in survival. There's a lot of redstone going everywhere. Uh, I mean, I have redstone going everywhere because I'm not too good at making things compact. But I made it as compact as I could. Uh, but all those guys that are good at redstone and more advanced and go crazy with it, uh, can you please take this design and make it more compact because this is really just a prototype but I like the way it worked um, so yeah um, please leave a comment if you have any questions please subscribe and thanks for watching have a nice day